Welcome to the Radical Racing Truck League here at Las Vegas. I started 10th on the grid. And uh, as always, my race pace hopefully is going to be better than my uh, single lap qualifying pace. Although 10th place was actually really, really good for me. This race footage is going to be a little bit different to what you've seen before. You may notice there's no standings on the, on, on the screen. You may notice there is no external view. Um, you may notice that this is not live commentary. Uh, this is um, because I had a technical problem at some stage during the race. I won't tell you when. And, and my computer crashed on me completely. Uh, that meant that I lost the replay. So thank you very much, Andy, for uploading the almost one gigabyte of replay file so that I do have some footage to, to put out there. But, but it also lost my recording. And if you weren't watching live on Twitch, which a lot of people were, so uh, they saw it, they saw what happened. But if you, uh, if you weren't watching live, then you're not gonna see any live footage during this video. So, um, as I was saying, this track, fairly difficult on tyres, about 15 laps in, you start to really, really struggle. And uh, and I haven't got a huge amount of pace, so I'm taking it a little bit easy. And as you can see in a moment, you'll see that Andy comes sweeping by, giving him a bit of room there. And then uh, John Jenkins is just behind him. And he's taken by the both drivers are faster than me. Jonas on the right hand side up here he's also faster than me but he's going slower than me at the moment and that's uh, interesting to know so I've switched to an external view because uh, we're getting a bit close there we nearly touched there I I thought at the time we did touch but that footage kind of shows that it might have been a bit less close than I thought Uh, Abdul coming down the inside as well, three wide, and I uh, I decided at that point that I'd back out a little bit, let them go because uh, that was getting a little bit too tight for me at this stage. So I'm not going to show you every single lap like this because I, I don't think it's what you're tuning in for. I don't think it's what you're used to. Um, and I don't think you'll enjoy it as much as you would do if you had the live commentary as well. So I'm working my way back slowly, just trying to get past Jonas because he's going a little bit slower than I want to at the moment. But we're going to look after these tyres. Um, I think at this point we're going to jump ahead to uh, the next significant moment. So we're on lap 19 now. Um, we're still trying to look after tyres and just wander around this track as best we can. And a wreck happens right in front of us. Uh, that's Ashley and John Jenkins. I give a wide berth, go very, very wide onto the apron before gradually working my way back up again and that brings out our first caution on lap 19. The reason for your caution on lap 19 is where Ashley just drifted up a little bit into uh, John Jenkins and uh, when they came together uh, both of them were sent into the wall. Um, Ashley getting some really severe damage there uh, but John Jenkins as well uh, received enough damage to cause him to have to park his truck for the rest of the race. So if we have a look at this incident in a bit of slow motion, we can see that there is actually a significant amount of net code involved. Although the two drivers got close, there was not actually any contact at the point of, uh, of, of impact there. And uh, I think both drivers were giving each other just enough room. Unfortunately, at the point of um, net code impact, that then just turned Ashley right in front of John Jenkins and that sent them both of them into the wall causing Ashley to actually roll his truck. Um, getting back on all four tyres, hitting that wall again. Um, actually pretty much did 
every panel. I think even his roof um, got some damage in that particular incident. But uh, to credit, he carried on and uh, was able to at least make a few more laps. So lap 22 restart. I'm in 12th place now. I've just taken four tyres and uh, a full load of fuel. And I kind of saved fuel um, when I got out. As soon as I got out of the pits, as I came round to take this green flag, um, I was of a mind that we could make it on fuel. Um, after a couple of laps I asked the guys in the chat and they confirmed that I was maybe half a lap to the good. Which which is pretty close. Um, I was confident that as the tyres wore out I'd get out the gas a bit more and that would ever so slightly increase. Um, but the risk was tyres. So I took it fairly easy, I let people go, um, I tried not to fight people too much, although Andy has been on the outside there for quite some time and I've had to take a tighter line than that maybe I would have liked. After getting into the wall quite hard there, um, right in front of uh, Andy, but we managed to give every each of us each, give each other enough room and there wasn't any further impacts. Um, and the rest of, uh, of this stint is uh, is all about looking after tyres, looking after tyres, looking after fuel. Uh, thanks to the guys that were in, in the uh, Twitch chat who were able to keep me up to date with the amount of fuel that I, uh, I still had remaining and it gave me the confidence that this tactic was actually going to get me to the finish should it, should it go green all the way. Um, So let's use the feature that lets us jump to uh, incidents and see what happened. Um, I'm gonna. This is all live on the fly. So David having an incident here. Just brushed that wall, just fractionally. Chris doing well to uh, to avoid him. Tom Stanley, did he get a bit of the wall as well? J just a bit, just enough, just to just to scratch a little bit of paintwork. Uh, Chris's turn, did he get the wall? Got the wall halfway down the straight, now that's impressive. That's impressive, Chris. Connery. Oh, now that was a bit of a harder impact, that actually did some damage. That's going to slow you down a bit now, Connery. Chris running a little high there. Grabbed a bit of the wall. And that was the same point along the straight and a bit more. Bad luck, Chris. Uh, well kept out of the way, though. I know um, this is Chris's first race with us, and he did an excellent job of keeping out of the way. Um, Mr. Hindle there. Lost to the inside, but didn't panic. Got onto the infield. Uh, by now the tyres are actually getting a little bit worn out. This is tricky business at the moment. You get on the gas a bit too hard and, and it is uh, it's difficult. Uh, wisely he thought he grabbed some new tyres. Chris still going. Still moving that wall. Richard Wilde deciding to take pits. Let's see what lap number we're on here. We're on lap 51. So uh, what was that? 20, 30, nearly 30 laps. Um, Richard Wilde decided was enough to come into the pits. Tom Stanley, lap, a lap later on lap 52. Um, Ian, um, in the pits on lap 53. So people are starting to come down the pits. Andy, in the pits as well. Um, Ashley, also in the pits. Oh, and there was some contact. Let's just go back and have a look at that. Um, Ian and Ian, round, uh, round, Ian and Kevin, um, that was quite, quite a scary moment there for uh, for everyone involved. But some good car control from everyone. Daniel's in the pits, um, lap 55. So is David and uh, and Stuart. Chris, uh, you needed those tyres. Well done. Kevin in the pits as well. Richard Wilde having a bit of a problem. 
get into that outside wall really hard there. That's caused some, some damage to your truck as well. Bad luck with that. We are now on lap 72. So things getting getting pretty close. So here I am on lap 78. Um, my lap and my tyres have not been changed since lap 22 pit stop. They are struggling to hold on. I'm just about getting around these corners and uh, everything's feeling a little bit tired and worn out. Um, but I'm in 10th place. Um, my tactic didn't work because the guys that pitted were able to get around. Although I lapped them when they pitted, they were able to get around two, three seconds a lap faster than me. And unfortunately, my tactic didn't work so they were able to get past me but I was in 10th place a top 10 finish um, incident free and that happened so I was just entering the back stretch um, on the final lap of the race the last lap of the race in 10th place and and my computer died on me so just checking my lap times here uh, we pitted lap um, right back on lap 22. Uh, we were before then we were running 32.4s, and after we pitted, we were down to 31.6, and then we got to 32.4s by lap 35. Lap 40 were 32.6 still. Lap uh, 50 33.1s. Lap 55, 33.5. Lap 60, 33.5. 33.7 by 65. 70, 33.9. We kind of hit a bit of a cliff, I think, because we are started to hit, go from 33.6s, 33.3s, 33.4s to 33.7s, 8, 7, 9, 6, 9. So to be fair it didn't work from about lap 65 66 onwards and uh, as hard as i tried i just couldn't get any more out of out of those uh, out of those tires and uh, lap 79 part way round so that's as far as i got um just about to enter the the back stretch half a lap from home when the computer died um, lost my 10th place, lost the replay, lost the uh, the video, and uh, and uh, I I can't tell you how how disappointed I was with that. But uh, this is the best I could do as a video at the, um, to wrap up what happened there. Um, and uh, apologies, and hope that normal service will resume next week. Right, where's that recording? Uh, Many congratulations to Jeremiah for yet another win, maintaining his perfect streak with us here in the Radical Racing Truck League. Um, Daniel paid an excellent second place with Richard Wilde in third, Andy in fourth, and if we have a look down, Abdul got my tenth place that I should have got, so um, congratulations to all you guys there. Tom Stanley ending another top five. He is our all-time highest top five scorer or positioner or whatever however you put it but uh, yeah he's got more top fives in this racing league since the modern truck era began um than anybody else in uh, that's ever raced with us so um yeah another one for the tally there tom um so i eventually was credited with 13th place um one lap down should only be half a lap down if you ask me never mind um um no incident points which obviously helps the old uh, um, incident rating, but uh, is it counted this season? Rumour has it that incidents are going to cost you and gain you points next season, so something to look out for there. Earning just 31 points. Um, as you can see, um, that has given oh, but become one of my drop weeks. Um, so my drop weeks, as I've taken part in every race this season, is Las Vegas and Daytona, shaded in grey there. Um, hopefully I can um, score more than the 31 points 
at the remaining two races, which is Charlotte Motor Speedway and New Hampshire. Looking at our table, we can see that uh, Jeremiah is um, obviously the champion, obviously um, far enough away. I mean, he's still got to turn up, I think, for a couple of races. Um, but if he turns up, he's the champion for at least one more race anyway. Daniel Page in second place, um, 31 points behind. Um, so almost, a, well, a whole field of, of drivers behind, pretty much. Um, uh, um, with uh, Ian Cornish in third and Stuart in fourth. I'm down in fifth place. Really, really tight there for fifth place at the moment. Uh, we're in sixth place, actually, but um, <clears throat> really close for fifth place. Um, there is uh, one, two, three drivers on equal points there. And uh, David's not all that far behind. But we're we're chasing we're chasing Stuart. He's only five points ahead of us. So um, um sorry, uh, 14 points ahead of us. So yeah, we're fighting hard to uh, catch up with him. Two races to go, as I say. Next race will be at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and then week 13 will be our week three race, where that one technically didn't happen because of uh, iRacing's problems. All sorted now, but we uh, we're going to rerun that on week 13. Um, so massive apologies for the stream or the, uh, the video this week, nothing like I'd like to produce, but hopefully next week at Charlotte Motor Speedway, normal service will resume. So thank you very much indeed for watching and, uh, we'll see you uh, next week from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like. It really helps my videos. If you haven't already, then do subscribe to my channel to get more updates of when I've put some races up. And if you'd like to give me some feedback on this particular video, then please put them down in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching.